How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video, and today is another episode of For Your Consideration. We are getting there, guys. I am so excited because the Oscars are, are coming. We are in April. We're in Oscar month. It's happening. I am so excited. But today, we are reacting to the BAFTAs, the uh, British Association of Film and Television something. Um, but yeah, so they had all of their awards. Um, there are, I, I guess, there's some rule things, so not everyone could be nominated. Uh, like, I don't think Carrie Mulligan was nominated for Best Actress and things like that. And there were some interesting um, nominations, but we're going to react. Uh, we'll talk about what this means for the Oscars. This is one of the last um, award shows before the Oscars, so this is kind of the priming ground to kind of see who's going to win. And uh, let me know down below in the comments, what category do you think is kind of the most up in the air? Because this year there's actually a lot of categories that are kind of steamrolled. Like it's kind of pretty obvious uh, who's going to win. So let me know down below because there's a few categories that are up in the air. We'll talk about them a little bit later into the video. So quick disclaimer right off the top. Um, I want to pull up my awards predictions. I did not predict every category. There were some categories that I just didn't predict because I, I didn't really have a um I didn't have a good enough you know I, I didn't see all the films or things like that um so I just didn't react to them so I'm gonna just go through the ones I reacted to I still reacted to 18 of the categories and I will say I did pretty, pretty good so uh let's just kind of get into it so the first one we got is uh is visual effects and uh for all that is good in the world thank you god tenant took it home i mean i've said it since the beginning of the awards that tenant i don't know why it's not getting the love for special effects because it deserves it or best visual effects because it deserves it and i know that you're all gonna say oh tenant fanboy blah 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 but i think we can all agree that tenant has some of the best visual effects some of the most groundbreaking visual effects uh that that we've seen in a long time and it finally took home a dub and um, I wanted it to win. I thought it would win. So I got the green for that one. That was absolutely great. We're going to go into sound. Uh, and that went to sound of metal, which I wanted to win and predicted to win. So that was great. Uh, this, the way that like tenant with visual effects, um, sound for the sound of metal is exactly the same way. It's so inventive, creative, something that we've never seen or heard before. Uh, and it was really, really well done. Um, I'm going to do two fur for the next two because they're the same winner. We've got costume design and hair and makeup, and those both went to Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Um, I think that that is a lock for both categories. I think Ma Rainey is going to win both those categories. Um, rightfully so. Fantastic hair and makeup and costumes. I mean, I, I wouldn't argue that at all, um, and I think they're going to win it. And, and for the last two, Sound of Metal is a lock to win sound. I think that's pretty obvious. Um, visual effects is kind of up in the air. I hope that the Academy picks Tenet because I just, I really think it deserves it, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so for those, those four categories, three of them are pretty much locks. Visual effects is still a little bit up in the air. Then we have best production design and that went to Mank. And that was what I wanted to win and what I thought would win. Um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Mank, but of all of the films in this category of, of nominations, it, it's the production design's really good. I'm not gonna take it away from it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And yeah, Mank took it home. I think it's pretty much a lock to win the Oscar. Um, I think that's just what it's gonna be. So Mank for production design, not too bad. Then we have editing. So this is the first one that I got wrong. Um, I wanted Promising Young Woman to win. I thought Trial of the Chicago 7 would win, but Sound of Metal ended up winning, which was, I don't wanna say a surprise, but kind of, because it's rather basic editing. The sound editing, obviously, that's in the sound category, so it's all inclusive for that. So that that's obvious, but a little surprised. I'm hearing that Sound of Metal may have a bit of a push to actually win the Oscar, uh, which I wouldn't be mad at at all. Um, I just, you know, I think Trial had a lot more snappy, witty, quicker editing that I liked, um, and I thought a lot of other people liked. Um, so that was why I picked it to win, but pleasant surprise because I, sound of metal deserves more love because it's just an absolutely brilliant film so i'm happy that it took it home let me have best cinematography i'm very happy about this one i wanted judas to win 
because it's it just brilliant cinematography but I knew we all knew that Nomadland was gonna take it home and it did and I'm not I'm not mad about that at all it's tied in like a first place with Judas for cinematography I think it's absolutely gorgeous I, I've raved about the cinematography of, of Nomadland since I saw the film um, it's gonna win the Oscar I think that's pretty much obvious at this point and there you go next one we're gonna get through pretty quickly because I don't know the film that won um, but we got casting I wanted Nomad I mean I wanted Minari to win I thought Judas and the Black Messiah would win and it went to this film called Rocks I've never seen the film I don't have any um, thoughts about that it's not it's not a category at the Oscars so I don't really have any thoughts but good for Rocks awesome then we have best original score pretty self-explanatory I wanted Soul to win um, and I'm gonna want Soul to win because Tenant's just been shafted and just not gotten any love for score which it I thought it was the best score of the year but that's just me um so i i want soul to win and it's going to win and it, it won here once again for score it's just brilliant breathtaking just fantastic uh yeah i mean what more can you say about that it's just a brilliant score it's one of the best scores of the year and since tenant didn't get nominated soul is gonna take it home uh and then speaking of soul best animated there was only three films up for best animated at the baftas and i wanted soul to win and Soul did win. Pixar is going to bring home another Oscar. It's just going to happen. I mean, it's another steamroll. It's going to happen. Um, and most of the categories that I got right are guaranteed. I think visual effects is kind of up in the air. I think, and that's kind of it. You know, the ones that I got wrong, which so far has just been editing and, and casting doesn't count because it's not in the Oscars, but editing. Editing is kind of up in the air with visual effects. The rest of them are kind of self-explanatory so far so it's, it's gonna be kind of a weird oscars because a lot of them i i believe unless they throw in a huge curveball a lot of them are pretty much made up already and we, we kind of already know it's when we get into the acting some of the bigger categories that it's a little a little spicy um but we're gonna get into that actually right now soul took animated so pretty good um supporting actor this is the one category that is decided um, I wanted Leslie Odom Jr. to win just because I love Leslie Odom Jr., but we all knew Kaluuya is taking it. I mean, it, it, it's no no secret, no surprise. I I mean, Kaluuya's taking it. He's absolutely fantastic. He deserves an Oscar. He's finally going to get his Oscar. I'm very happy about that. This is the one acting category that's completely locked. I thought Best Actor was locked, but after the BAFTAs, I'm hearing otherwise. But we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but Kaluuya is going to take it home. It's a lock. It's going to happen. And I'm very happy Jews is getting love. It's a, it's a fantastic film. Sporting Actress. This is another one that I, I'm really happy about. I, I wanted Baklova to win just because I kind of want to see Borat get some love. Even though I haven't seen the film still. But I think from what I've seen clips and stuff, she's great. Um, but I thought Yu Young Yu Jung Yoon would win. And she did. Which is great. Because she's one, one of the best, if not the best parts of no uh not nomad land minari she, she's one of the best parts of it and and this win is giving her some steam for the oscar you know uh baklova was winning for so long and she was getting the steam and people thought oh she's the front runner but uh yun winning the last two big uh winning the sag and the bafta that's giving her some steam so this one is becoming a little more defined this was the category for a while that was not defined at all um but this one's becoming a little more defined and i'm really excited because i would love for her to win the oscar because i think she deserves it and that would be absolutely fantastic so i'm very excited that she took it home uh that's who i predicted i'm i'm on fire here i've only gotten two wrong so far if you're keeping track and this is the third one that i got wrong best leading actor so i wanted mad mickelson to win just for another round I, I he was nominated so i had to put him in there obviously i had to give him some love but I thought, and I thought everyone thought, that Chadwick Boseman was going to take it home. He has swept so far. He has not lost. But for the first time, he did not. And Anthony Hopkins took it home. Uh, this was the third category that I got wrong of all of them. Um, that means that it's not decided. From what I've been hearing from people and, 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 and reading and, and looking around, this category is far from decided, apparently, now, since, the, since Hopkins took home the BAFTA, even though... I had heard it was pretty I had heard that Hopkins may take home the BAFTA 
because you know British film British actors I mean, the BAFTAs love to vote for that type of stuff so I'd heard that 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 those rumblings were gonna happen so I wasn't surprised when he did the thing that surprises me now is the fact that now this category is up in the air I don't think it is I think Chadwick's still gonna take it home he deserves it so I don't know how much this does for the Oscar race this is I guess now not solidified but I'd still think it's pretty close so we'll see but Chadwick I think he deserves it I haven't seen the father yet that's another one I gotta see um soon because the Oscars are coming and it's the only best picture nominee nominee I haven't seen yet so I gotta go check that out leading actress I wanted McDormand to win I thought she would win and she did this is the category this is of the acting categories the one that makes absolutely no sense each televised event there has been a different winner in this category this is the first time I think since 20, 2007 is what I saw um I have no idea I want Mulligan to win um I don't I wouldn't say she's a front runner anymore because she didn't win the SAG um but I have absolutely no idea I have no idea so we'll see this category is very exciting because I genuinely have no idea I'm gonna hedge my bets on Mulligan but at this point I have no idea it could be anyone it could be any one of them which is very interesting I'm very excited about it, and we shall see we shall see moving on to adapted screenplay I wanted Nomadland to win but I thought the father would win again like I said British British film British actors um, so I thought it would and it did and the rumblings I'm hearing is that this may this the father screenplay may be, may be making a run at adapted at the adapted win um, you know Nomadland is really good and I like I want it to win but from what I'm hearing about the father it's got some steam now so don't be surprised I'm, I'm keeping the father definitely on my radar I'm gonna see how how the chatter is going for the next few weeks before we get into the Oscars but don't be surprised the father has some steam now to win a few categories so I'm very interested to see what happens but for now we shall just move on original screenplay I wanted another round to win just because I love that film again you guys are seeing a theme with whenever another round is nominated which by the way I forgot to predict uh, best not English film um, I would have wanted another round to win but I would have thought Minari won so I actually would have gotten that half right because another round took it home and I was so happy about that I just uh, I love it so much um, but I wanted another round to win but I thought promising a woman would win and it did I'm very happy Emerald Fennell is taking home the Oscar she's going to it's going to win it's pretty much won every everyone now it hasn't it has, I don't think it's swept but it's won pretty much every uh, every award since I think the globe I don't think it won the globe but I think after that I think it's swept pretty much um, I could be wrong but it's won a lot so I think that this one is pretty much a lock I don't think there's any um, I don't think there's any there's any argument there I think it's pretty much locked. I think the last three are pretty much locked pretty much um, because then we move on to best director I wanted Vincent Berg to win for for another round but I knew Chloe Zhao would win and she did she's gonna win that one's a lock as well I you know these last three are pretty self-explanatory I think they're all locks um, but Zhao is incredible her direction of Nomadland is fantastic I've already raved about it plenty on the, in this series and then best picture I wanted promising a woman to win but I thought Nomadland would win and it did it's your best picture winner it's gonna win it's gonna win I'm very happy it was one of my favorite films last year uh, it's absolutely brilliant and it's gonna win so those are the categories I predicted this is the best I think I've done so far I think um, because the critics choice I did really well I only got two completely wrong but I did get a few half wrong so I only got three wrong completely I got 15 out of 18 I think that's probably my best score so far I'm really hoping I kill the Oscars I really think I will um, unless they throw out some surprises but like I said a lot of these categories are kind of locked so it's kind of easy to predict because a lot of them are already locked it's just those few that are up in the air that could make or break my predictions so we'll see I'm gonna do an Oscar prediction video before the Oscars happen you'll see who I am predicting but I got to figure that out because I am nowhere near ready to predict the Oscars but guys let me know down below in the comments what did you think of the BAFTAs were you surprised by any of the uh, selections that were made what category do you think is most up in the air do you think 
the best actor category is up in the air. Do you think that? I'm not convinced yet. I think Chadwick still has all the steam and, motive, and uh, momentum, but I don't know. We'll see. Let me know down below in the comments. But guys, that is pretty much it. Go check out the three websites that I write for. I'm writing for three websites. I'm writing for Music City Drive, The Wolf of Geek Street, and FanaticFilmReview.com. Go check out all of those. I've got written pieces on each one of them now. I, I wrote a review for Wolf of Geek Street, as well as I did a SAG, uh, a SAG reaction on that. I've written multiple reviews and done a lot of, of, of work on Music City Drive-In, and I've done stuff on my personal as well. Go over to Twitter and Letterboxd to find initial, immediate 2021 uh, new release reactions. I do reviews right after I watch movies that come out in 2021 on my Twitter, so make sure you go check that out. And last but not least, if you enjoyed, if you enjoy the award content, if you're excited for some awesome Oscar content to keep coming, please consider dropping a subscription. It really does mean the world. It's free. It does not cost anything, and it significantly helps the channel. But we got a lot of really exciting stuff coming up with the Oscars, uh, ranking the best picture nominees after I see The Father, giving you my Oscar predictions, giving you my reaction to the Oscars, and a potential surprise. But I'll keep that for later. I've teased it a little bit, but I'll keep it for later for an official announcement. But guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video.